this is really cool here. Um, there is water coming on each of these culverts. And they come out, they're making kind of arches, right? If you look at the water pattern, you can see the shape of the, the pattern. And then when they're, so it kind of comes over like that. And this is coming over like that. And here they are getting mixed up. See how that one there, there and this one's coming out that way. So there's a, I guess that's what you call a confluence, eh? is that right? Where two bodies of water meet. It's not actually two, but it's the same effect. I was looking at this for a while, and the sun was blocking everything else, right? I wanted to just look and see what else was there. And then, so I put my visor down, and oh my gosh, look at that, all of a sudden, there's a whole world out there. There's a lot going on. There's trees that are covered with frost. And there's this, right here, it's almost like a puddle. There's the stream which appears to go that way. And then there's this puddle. Oops. And then over here, you know, so but what's actually happened here is you've got it dividing and going around whatever this is. Uh, the trees that are laying down are hiding the fact that there's um, whatever's there. It's hard to do because I can't see it through the camera because it's too small. Oops. But those those trees they used to stand and be like sentinels here at the end of the stream or at the culvert. And the beavers moved in and built a dam, and they killed those trees. And now, many years later, 20 years later to be exact, those trees have fallen down. That's from the beavers that came 20 years ago. And this, this area here was not really part of their pond. You know, their pond was way downstream. Anyway, I was just thinking, I haven't talked to you for a while, and I thought maybe I should check in with you. Well, as you can see, life is perfect. It's quarter to eight. I came out at probably a quarter to seven, and I've been playing my violin. I, I walked into the woods. The sun hadn't risen yet. The sun had just rose, and that's why I'm sitting here, because... I was cold out there. So I got in the car and I came to this point because I could see that the sun was shining here, right? I could see there was light, light on the road. And so I took the opportunity to come here. Oh, and you may wonder about this. I want to identify this, this piece of grass. And I was, I tried to put it in my pocket and I knew I was going to crush it in my pocket. And then I thought, you know what? Everything sticks to my clothes, to my blanket, on the chip. And I may as well just stick it to my blanket and then go from there. I just love looking at this. It's very bright, isn't it? But it's so cool. Let's look at that again. Can you see this? This is a very interesting spot right there. Try and figure it out. Let me see if I can make it any bigger. Ooh. Now, where's the water coming from and going to? Is it just, is this piece here? Okay, where you are. Okay, this piece here. Now, what is, what is this? Is this a log or um, real ground? It looks like it's something has fallen over. Or is, is this part of a tree? Part of one of these trees that are down there. Let's see if I can help that out. It's 
hard to tell. See those flowers behind there? See those? Those are Joe Pie. So from the time they grow, they're a beautiful plant. And then they have this beautiful purple flowers and they're so fragrant. Just smell wonderful. And then, look at that, even in the winter, they still are beautiful. Or spring or whatever the season is. We're still in the end of February. Oh yeah, that'll be on our so do we? I'm gonna make this smile. I'll show you this year. I like how the snow uh, let's see if I can show this part to you here. Um, see how the snow is very thick. You can compare it to a piece of grass, right? To see how thick that snow is. I have a book on grasses, and I want to identify all these grasses. See if I can lighten that spot up. It's in there. Oh. Interesting. Eh? You know, to make it lighter, you tap on that part of the screen where it's too dark. I was thinking, you know, I don't go down there very much. I want it to brighten up over here. I've got too much sun there. Anyway, um, I wanted to maybe make a, a staircase right there. Or maybe over here. Because this is a sunny patch in the morning. And it will always, every day of my life, unless the sun is moving around, which it does every day of my life. Anyway, there should be sun there. Of course, that might be stream. Might not be any earth under that. But I have a chair here. But I can't get there. And so I need some kind of a way to get down on this side. I'd like to get down... Oh, look, there's a chickadee. Um, I'd like to be able to get down from over there on Fiddler Lane. But here, um, here is also okay. But then you get more of the public coming and using this, you know, but that's my only approach. But, but I'd also like to be, have a way to get down over here. Because over there, it's... I, it's the beginning of the stream, right? I have a beautiful stream and and it could be walked along every day. I mean, and it, it curves around and around. Why isn't it walked around? Because I do not have an access at this very point. If I had an access right here beside the stream at the road, I would walk it every day. That's the only reason. Isn't it interesting, because I've had this problem for 21 years. There was a time when I had a couple of vlogs there and I used that and it was better. But I've never had a proper way down there. And and that it's so interesting because the few times I walked it when we first moved here, I don't think the road was so high. I think it was much lower there. And it, it was easier to, to get in. But I used to walk this. Let me see if I that. I used to walk along here. And there's beautiful um, ferns in there. They're um, cinnamon ferns, I think. And then, see, this is a stream. And I would walk through here. And then these, these trees that have just fallen over, those those were trees that did curve over the pond, over the stream, somewhat, but um, they, the kids used to climb them, and so there was a place, I think it was on this one, there was a, there was a pair of trees there, and I think there was on this side a nice place where um, we kind of hung out while the kids climbed the tree, and there was another place down here, let's see, over here now. Oops. 
over here. From these trees, this one, we hung a rope and the kids could swing on it and drop into the water. It's interesting how much has changed. You know, the beavers did it 20 years ago. You know, I was thinking earlier about Nancy today and Nancy yesterday and Nancy tomorrow. And I, I really feel that I am today, I am Nancy today, but what I do today affects Nancy tomorrow. And so I've been trying to make life for Nancy tomorrow easier by putting things that Nancy tomorrow would probably need in those locations. Like for instance, um, dry socks in one of the many, um, one of the many dwellings in the neighborhood, uh, Nederland's door. I named it. I named it. I did. And Nederland's door includes all of it. The whole lowland. It includes the streamwoods and the culvert and the runoff pond and Kingfisher Lane and and um, Fiddlehead Pond and Iceberg Pond and the other runoff pond in there and the island and the moat and and um, the marsh woods and the um, the waterfall and the spring and the um, Serenity Dippity Pond and the lower stream and the upper stream and the marsh, I said the marsh woods, and um, what is it, uh, Sedge Meadow Teepee. All those, it includes, it includes Sedge Meadow Teepee, um, Timely Rest, which is the outhouse, um, the Alder Teepee, um, there's gonna be a waterfall teepee, an iceberg pond, there's gonna be a teepee there, but I didn't have time or my body wasn't good enough yet last, just last year, but it is now. I am going the other direction, guys. I am. I'm not over the hill yet. It was just a bit of a peak. And now I'm on a wonderful plateau. Isn't that great? Life is not always totally uphill. You know, life is like that. Sometimes it's like get a rest and then you get ready and you're resting up and then I can see that the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system really really interact a lot in our lives you know like this the parasympathetic you breathe deeply and you relax and life is good and then the sympathetic is like, ouch, that hurts. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, there's danger over there. Oh, stress, I better hurry. So that's the sympathetic nervous system. And you go to the doctor, the pain management doctor, and they give you all these needles, all these shots. You're, uh, it's, those are nerve blockers. You're trying to block the nerves that are giving you the pain which is shutting down those parts of the sympathetic nervous system. They're out of control. They're going wild. Help, help, this is terrible. Oh no, oh no. But you gotta breathe deep and you gotta activate the parasympathetic nervous system. <sighs> which is, it's okay. It's just pain. It's okay. Let's not get our bowels in an uproar. Don't have a cow. It's just pain. It's just trouble. It's just poverty. It's just cold. It's just whatever it is. But it's okay because it's better than what it could be. It's always better than it could be. Isn't that a fabulous thing? If we can keep our perspective all the time, everything's on a continuum, right? I gotta go. It's only gonna give me 15 minutes. All right, I'll let you look at the stream again. Ooh, beautiful stream. Now you gotta check it out there where it's...